Welcome to this Release Owl presentation. Release Owl is a native release management solution designed to automate the packaging and deployment of SAP Cloud applications. Release Owl's rich set of automation capabilities and workflow engine allows you to orchestrate team collaboration. It combines approval processes and manual configuration change tracking with advanced CI pipelines. In this demo, I will show you how to configure a release pipeline, automate your release activities, and the workflow to manage a change and approval process for your organization at every step. Developing features is done locally using the Eclipse IDE. The features are developed, deployed, and tested with a local application runtime available as a part of the SAP HANA Cloud Platform SDK. Once the feature development is complete, the code is pushed into the version management system by the developer. You can create build pipelines and release all to package the SAP application. A build pipeline can be used to fetch changes committed by developers in Git, package them to MTA archive, run unit tests and set a code analysis to achieve continuous integration. The package is then published to an artifact store that can later be used for deployment automation using release pipelines. Let us now create our own build pipeline. For that, click on Build Pipelines on the left here. And then select Create New Build Pipeline on the top right. Give it a name. Select the Source Control Management Details. The repository type. The repository itself the branch, the builder, in this case MTA, and then decide if you want this to be triggered manually, on a schedule, or via a webhook, which will trigger each time you commit to the branch. Then review. Look at the details, and if you're happy with it, click Submit. Click Yes. Confirm once more. And there we have created a new build pipeline. To execute, click on Build Now. This build is now executing. If this doesn't update fast enough for you, click on Refresh. As you can see, three of the four stages have already been successfully completed. As you can see, also the fourth stage is now ready, which means this build can be used for a release pipeline. Let's talk about release pipelines next. With release pipelines, you can deploy a build artifact into multiple environments and run automated tests. Deployments to each environment is treated as a stage that has three steps. A pre-deployment, a deployment, and a post-deployment step. You can have approval tasks and manual activities as part of the pre- and post-deployments. And as part of the deployment, the release owl dashboard will be updated with statuses of the pipeline. Now let us create a release pipeline. For that, select Release Pipeline here on the left, and then click on Create New Release Pipeline in the top right corner. Give it a name. Artifact source will be the build pipelines. And then from there, we select the build pipeline of our choice. In this case, the one we just created. And then we want to add a stage, which allows us to create pre-deployment actions, define the actual deployment and also the post-deployment action. Let's give it a name. And click OK. Now for the pre-deployment action, we want to have an approval task. Select a user that is supposed to be notified once this build pipeline is being triggered so that this person can then approve or reject this particular release uh, pipeline's um, process. And give it a message. Then select Deployment and decide what is the environment that you would like to deploy into. Lastly, decide what is the post-deployment action. For example, a manual task. Select the user you would like to assign this task to and then provide the message as well that describes the task itself.
and then save the workflow. Confirm with yes. Click OK and the release pipeline is ready. Now to execute, click on run. Give this, a, give this cycle a name and select the build you would like to use from the build pipeline and trigger the job. Confirm and now this is waiting for the approval or the rejection from the user we had earlier assigned to this precondition for this release pipeline. For that let me switch to a different account and show you what that looks like for that particular user. Now I've logged in with the user credentials of the person that's supposed to approve my release pipeline. In the inbox, I will see a notification that is asking me to either approve or reject the release pipeline that has just been triggered. Let's approve it. Confirm. And that's all you have to do to decide whether or not this is supposed to execute. Let's go back. If I now refresh over here, you can see the precondition has been approved and completed, and now the deployment is underway. But now click on refresh. As you can see, the deployment was successful, and now it is waiting for the post deployment condition, which was a manual task. This will also end up in the inbox of that predefined user, but since I'm an admin, I can also approve or reject it from my site. Let me show you how. And this will complete the entire release pipeline process from beginning to end. Now if we go back to the dashboard, we will see that the release pipeline executed and it is now completed. I hope you have enjoyed our release cell presentation. The first ever native DevOps platform for the SAP cloud. Please write to sales at releaseisle.com for a detailed product demo and procurement. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.